All right, so the New York Rangers have announced that Anthony D'Angelo, Tony D'Angelo as most people call him, will not be playing another game for them anymore after an alleged altercation between him and goaltender Alexander Georgiev after Saturday night's loss to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And D'Angelo is a guy who's had a history of controversy as we know it. Uh, you know, in junior, I believe, he had some racist remarks towards a teammate. And obviously you're kind of blacklisted after that. We know in his draft year he did slide to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, he was projected to go top 10, I believe, that year, but he fell into the teens or maybe even the 20s, if I'm not mistaken, as far as draft ranking went in the first round. And like I said, he's a guy that just has a lot of controversy uh, attached to him. And, uh, you know, not only him having the altercation with Georgiev now and I mean this also begs the question is he ever going to get a job in the NHL ever again and this is a guy who he has tons of skill he's a great skater great puck mover he can be a liability defensively though as we've seen this season he has not had a great season on the ice so far I should add but uh, when you're not having a good season on the ice and you're problematic off the ice I mean you're just asking to get yourself shipped out of town and you look at guys around the league, defensemen who have a lot less talent than this guy, like say a Mark Borowiecki for example, he's got way less talent than D'Angelo will ever have, but the reason why Borowiecki sticks around is okay, well A, I mean, he's a heart and soul guy and he's, his threshold for pain is just absolutely insane, I guess you could say. And not only that, I mean, he's a great character guy off the ice. He's great in the community. He's great in the locker room with his teammates. You'll never hear a teammate say a bad word about Mark Borowiecki. Uh, unfortunately for Tony D'Angelo, the same thing can't be said about him, despite him having a lot more skill. Um, he's a guy who, he's got good skill, but he's not a Sidney Crosby or Connor McDavid-like talent that's going to make him overcome his problematic attitude off the ice but this guy really needs an attitude adjustment and he needs it in a hurry because I think he might have finally ran out of chances here in the NHL. It seems like when things are going bad for a guy like this I mean I don't know people in the media just want to dump on him even more and there's these rumors these sad rumors as John Davidson the president of the New York Rangers came out and said that uh, I mean he hit K. Andre Miller's uh, first NHL goal puck after he scored and I mean John Davidson just kind of you know he said that's those are, those are sad rumors it's not true and actually him and D'Angelo Keandre Miller and Tony D'Angelo actually had a good relationship when D'Angelo was with the Rangers so I can't really see him doing something like that I know there's that whole thing about you know him being a racist and stuff like that and I'd like to think I don't know he was just a mature uh, or immature stupid young kid that was shooting off his mouth and out of frustration he said the wrong things uh, hopefully he's overcome if he was a real racist in his heart hopefully he's overcome that you would like to think you'd like to hope anyways but uh, you know some things aren't always as they seem and maybe he still does have that in his heart I'd like to think not I mean he's good friends with Miller so but that's another topic for another day um, but yeah I, I really don't know now if he gets another job in the NHL um, you know, there's been talk, oh, well, Ottawa should get him off waivers or when he was on waivers there or whatever. I mean, no. If you're the Ottawa Senators, I think you steer as far as you can away from this guy. Uh, it's not a good PR move, especially with the team being really bad right now. I don't know that any time of the year is good to bring in Tony D'Angelo if you're on a 10-game winning streak or a 10-game losing streak. This guy's just a walking ball of controversy. I, I don't really think... Uh, not only the sense, but any NHL organization wants that for that matter or needs that. And, uh, you know, with just everything that's going on with him, I mean, if you're this guy's agent, it's tough to represent him. He's, he's just a walking ball of controversy and he shoots himself in the foot, a guy who could have a pretty promising career offensively despite his struggles this season. But guys, that's my thoughts on this situation with Tony D'Angelo. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, you know, I, I'm all for giving people, you know, second chances, maybe thirds at the very most. But this guy is just proving to be a little bit too much. Uh, I don't know if he thinks he's bigger than the team. He can just act whatever way he wants. I, I mean, it's just very unprofessional, very sad uh, to, to see a, a grown man. Uh, how old is he now? 24, 25. So he's a grown man acting this way. He really needs to clean up his act. And do you think he's run out of chances in the NHL? I personally think he has. 
Uh, the Rangers stated, I want to mention just before I end this video, that they don't want to terminate his contract or anything like that. They're looking to find him another place to play. But if you can't trade him, I mean, are you just going to pay him $4.8 million f to sit around and just wait for you to, to try and find him a team or just wait for the contract to run up in 2022? Or are you just going to eventually have to terminate his contract if you're New York? So like I said, let me know all that and more in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. And thank you so much for watching.